Hey, Fight Fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps, and I'm joined now with Derek James. Derek, thank you for your time. Um, really, really excited for this fight with Errol Spence Jr. versus Terrence Crawford. Let's be honest, were you confident that we could get this fight over the line? Because I'm going to admit that probably uh, late last year I was starting to write off the idea that we would ever see it. Well, I think that I was confident, but at the same time I got to the point where I'm like, I didn't care if it happened or not because it was like, <laughs> Dragging your feet, it's going to happen, not going to happen. You know, so really, it's like, I'm happy that it's here. But it's not here yet. So I'm waiting to fight week when the night before I have to weigh in. That's when we really like, okay, everything is great. You admitted on stage just a few moments ago that you know, everyone's just tired of talking about it, right? I'm sure you guys are. Right. But now, us media, we're, we're just, we're on it. Right. We're so excited that we finally are getting this fight. Where do you think that this fight matches up against the likes of the fights like um, Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather? I think it's a greater fight than Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather because this is for undisputed championship. Both of these fighters are undefeated. I think uh, Pacquiao lost like two or three times before, so it... He had the celebrity, but he didn't have the like, he didn't have the undisputed. It wasn't for the undisputed title, and uh, at the same time, it wasn't for um, neither of those guys were undefeated. Mm -hmm. Only four was undefeated, not Pacquiao. Last weekend, we saw two guys who weren't able to even go face to face um, at the press conference or at the weigh-in at the face-off. Josh Taylor and Teofimo Lopez, because of the animosity between them. But up there, we were able to see them be civil and poised and 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 do the job. But w is it safe to say that there's no real beef there between them? Because they seem to have a lot of good uh, jokes. <laughs> I feel like they could be friends yeah, after it's all no, said and done. No, I think that what it is in reality is that you know who you are and. Those are two guys who can hold their temperament, right? And can keep that fire on the inside. That's what you see. Yeah, man, they want to go and they want to tear each other's head off. <laughs> I think that, you, but you have to be able to keep it composed and keep it under control. And that's really what it is. They were killing me with the whole, you know, frying of the fish. Right, right, right. Uh, <laughs> right. The crawfish. Oh, yeah, 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 the crawfish, boy. Yeah. See, down in Texas, we really, and we're really close to Louisiana. So it's really big, the crawfish is really right. big thing. Yeah, yeah. I bet, I bet. Right. I was just there actually in a layover and I got stuck there because of the thunderstorms going on. Yeah. Right. Right. I was kind of worried a little bit that there might have been an issue coming out here. And there was um, those thunderstorms, really it was like a tornado. It's like, yeah, it's really scary. So yeah. yeah. Uh, good friend of mine, Anthony Joshua, now in your camp. Right. Let's talk a bit about that, um, him coming over, how he's adjusting in the States. Uh, a bit of a change from, from what he's accustomed to. Well, I mean, I don't know how much of a change. I think that it's great that he's in the gym with other fighters and um, he's um, really kind of learning a lot, which is cool. And he's really there to, he's really advancing. I mean, he's really getting better and better each day. And he's adjusting perfectly fine because it, it, it is a bit of a culture shock coming from the UK to the US. And this is the funny thing about it. They come in the gym and it's like, it's hot. <laughs> and it's like, oh man, it's not even hot. It's not even 100 degrees yet. So it's like, um, that's the funniest thing about it. It's not You're used to that Sheffield weather, that, that cold right, weather. Right, right, right. But it's like, <laughs> it's, 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 uh, the heat is getting there. It's getting, it's getting hot. It's getting heated. Yeah. You also now have Ryan Garcia. Right. Let's talk a bit about that and how that came about. Well, it was, it was just, uh, he, he texted me and then he flew down to Dallas at the same time. So it was kind of like, um, you know, we talked and we, we worked it out and, you know, we had a good conversation and he really was a really true and a heartfelt, you know, conversation. And, um, yeah, we worked it out. Just of the two, the guys that we just mentioned now, Ryan Garcia and Anthony Joshua, you know, looking back at their previous fights before they came into camp with you, what were something that you looked at and you thought, this is exactly what we need to adjust? I don't know. I never watched the fight. Really? Yeah, I mean, I only I saw Ryan Garcia fight Tank Davis. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, really, I don't watch a lot of boxing. So AJ, I only seen him fight like two or three times. And, you know, yeah, yeah. Okay. You don't so, watch a lot of boxing. <laughs> yeah, if you think about it, if I'm in the but gym all day. your life is already so like, much yeah, boxing. I'm in the gym all day, then I'm going to leave and go. <laughs> I only watch fights or fighters that we get ready to fight. Okay. That's it. When, do you know when we can anticipate seeing Anthony Joshua back out? We're hearing August-ish. We're hearing about a December. No, 
know, I'm not for sure, but he'll be better this fight. No, he just did the last fight too, but he'll be better each fight, each fight, each fight. So I'm not gonna say when, because obviously, if you don't know, I obviously can't say anything about it. So. <laughs> okay, well then, just speaking, last question, but just speaking on this, there is um, a lot of confirmation that there's going to be the heavyweight tournament over in Saudi Arabia. I, don't know about that. I heard about it, but I don't know okay. about it. I heard, heard that they, that's what they want to do, mm -hmm. but I'm not for sure that. I'm sure that he may be in it, but I mean, like the uh, Deontay Wilder situation, I mean, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I really I don't know. Okay. You do, but you ain't no, going to no. say I'm just kidding. No, no, no. I'm just no, kidding. No, no, no before, <laughs> yeah. I, I may know the answer to the first question. Yeah. The second one. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I really don't know for. I yeah. mean, because I mean, I don't know if we can get all the other guys involved. And I believe Joshua's going to be involved, but I don't think that all the other guys, all the other players involved. Let's be honest, I'm serious. Okay. You know, actually, if you don't mind, I, did you even watch the Josh Taylor versus Teofimo Lopez fight? No. Okay. No, <laughs> kind of thought that was going to be your answer after you just said that. I didn't watch the fight. Okay. Good fight that one. Yeah, I mean, I, I heard about it, but you know. I don't really watch a lot of box. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. This is the last one now. Um, Errol Spence. If, regardless of the outcome, Win. I have to be, I have to be, you know, I, I can't be and biased I here. Be, yeah, and I, I have yes. to be, and you okay. have to be an object. <laughs> okay. <laughs> regardless of the outcome yeah. on the night, yeah. does Errol stay at welterweight, or is he going to potentially consider moving up? I think that he's, I heard him say in another summary that this was the only reason why he would say 147 mm -hmm. and that I believe that he may move up. So, okay. yeah. Potentially. Yeah. That would be good. Okay, well, that was my last question. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think I've heard. You, what do you do? What do you do? I've, I've seen you before. So. Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing this 12 years now. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. I've been interviewing everybody and whatnot, but... Right. Okay, yeah. okay, good to meet you then. Nice, nice to meet you, too. <laughs> After all these... After all these years, I know, I know. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it, and hopefully we'll be able to catch up with you during Media Week. Thank you, no thank doubt. You. Definitely. Right. Bye, Fight fans. <laughs>